Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing apparently it's like the world's most coverage foundation ever. Right? That is a big statement. And if you saw many, many YouTubers try this, then I thought I would try it myself and give my own little review and see what it's like. So this is the Dermacol Film Studio makeup cover. I got mine in the shade 208 and it is definitely the perfect shade for me. I think. <laughs> I've not tried it on yet so we shall see. So it just comes in the cardboard box like this and this is what it looks like. So in this you get 30 grams. Apparently it's a hypoallergenic waterproof makeup cover with SPS 30 and is preservative free. It provides perfect coverage even in thin layers, not only for dark circles under the eyes but also for unpleasant spots and skin blemishes. It may also be used for the whole face in order to darken or lighten the skin or for professional makeup, photo or film shoots, modelling or festive occasions. Directions, apply in a small quantity and spread evenly. For removal, use Dermacol cleansing milk according to your skin type. Obviously I don't have the um, removing milk but we will put this to the test. I have already swatched it. So I guess this is the shade 208. Now that I'm looking at it, it actually looks a little bit pale. So that is what it looks like. As you can see, it is quite a light colour. But we will, we'll see if it works. We can put some powder on top to balance it out. It is quite a thick consistency, to be honest. I think it might oxidise a little bit because it seems like it's got a little bit darker. But we shall see. Let's get this baby on our face. So I'm going to apply it to one half of the face with a flat top brush. And the other half I'm going to try it with my beauty blender. So I'm just taking a small amount. And if you know me, you know I love to dot it around my face. So I'll start with the brush side first. So that's giving me a light kind of coverage. I have only used a small amount because when I saw other people review this, they put way too much on. So I'm going to apply some more and see if it builds up and if it covers up my little freckles that I've got. And I'll apply some under my eye as well to see what it's like for the dark circles, which it said it was good for. And then going in with the brush again. Okay, so I think when you build it up, it's definitely a lot more noticeable on the skin. But obviously, if it's a full coverage foundation, like, what what would you expect? <laughs> it has, like, covered up everything really, really well. I just don't know how I feel about how thick it, it kind of looks. But, I mean, it, it is pretty flawless. What I really like about it is it has given me a good amount of coverage, but my freckles are still coming through. But if you wanted to cover that up, you'd have to build it up once again. But I really like it because I don't mind my freckles showing. It kind of makes it look a little bit more natural, while it's giving me the full coverage everywhere else kind of thing. So I'm going to apply it with the sponge on the other side and see if there's any difference. But you can instantly tell, especially around my eye area, you can definitely tell how much it has covered up my dark circles. And I don't really suffer that much from like a lot of darkness around my eyes. But with this foundation on, it makes it look like I have really dark circles because it's covered it up and evened whatever was there so well. So it makes it look like my eyes really dark, but it's actually... It's actually not that bad, <laughs> but it, it just it's just blended it out like perfectly. So I'll apply it to the other side with a sponge. I do feel like I'm using quite a lot considering it's meant to be like full, full coverage. It definitely, definitely does oxidise for sure. I'm going to try and put a thick layer on this side and see if that makes any difference, whether it has to be built up or whether you can apply it as a thick layer. We shall see. Oh my god. So I don't know what it is, but the sponge just, I don't know if it's a thick layer or if it's a sponge, but it just applies it so much more full coverage. And for some reason with the sponge, it doesn't have as much time to oxidise. So it just looks a little bit too light for me compared to obviously this side. And it was a little bit hard to blend into my hairline unlike the brush was. So I'm going to go in with the brush just to kind of blend it all out, which to be honest with you, I do quite a lot with foundations or I'll do it with a brush and then blend it out a little bit better with a sponge so this isn't like a really rare thing for me to do so I'm not too bothered about the fact that like maybe you have to go in with the two but it is definitely like literally covered everything like I don't know if you can tell like in the camera like in the viewfinder I look just 
blank like there's, <laughs> there's obviously not much color to my face because it's kind of cancelled everything out once i've gone with the brush it has gone a little bit darker so it has oxidized a little bit more but nowhere near is what this side has oxidized like this one's not as as bad I don't mind it oxidising a bit. Obviously just bear that in mind when you're buying it. That will oxidise ever so slightly. So I'm going to try putting my concealer and some powder on top and see what it's like. So I'm just going to go in with a brightening concealer. I'm not going to go with anything for coverage. Because obviously I do not need that. I'm just using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. I think this would be really nice over a really shimmery like highlighting base just to give you a little bit more of a dewy look to it especially for us dry girls in case you didn't know i'm quite i'm dry slash combination so i do get quite oily in my t-zone when it's like really warm days or if i'm doing a lot of stuff but i'm also really dry there as well it's just my skin's just very awkward <laughs> Okay, so I definitely do not like that underneath my eyes, the Dermacol. I think it's really, really thick and it, it's really sitting into my lines and making it look really cakey. So I think if you're wanting it for under eye circles and stuff like that, you'd have to have like a pretty good under eye area because I mean, mine's not ridiculously bad. It does crease a lot with, with concealers, but not like... Not like really really bad, like I don't really have loads of wrinkles. Obviously I'm only 22. It's time for my overall thoughts. Overall I think it is definitely worth the £5 that I paid for it off eBay. I will leave the link down below to the one that I bought. So you can buy the same one if you want to try it. Um, I got the shade 208. I think it is the perfect shade for me. Especially when it's oxidised just that little bit. It works out really really well. I wouldn't recommend it if you're wanting it for dark circles underneath your eyes. I just think it's too thick for that. Um, especially if, for instance, you are an older lady who has a few more... I mean, I have quite a lot of lines considering my age. So if you had a lot of lines underneath your eyes, and you, yeah, I just don't think it would work very well for you. Maybe if you put it here and not directly right underneath. Maybe if you just used it here, then that might work better for you. I'm not too sure, but I probably wouldn't recommend it for dark circles exactly, um, for right underneath. I think the coverage is unbelievable. The coverage is so nice. It does look like... I mean, it doesn't look... I don't think it looks that cakey, to be honest. I thought it'd be really, really, really cakey, but it not. But it's not. It's absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait to wear this mixed with my normal night out foundation. I think it's going to look unbelievable. And I'm going out tonight as well, so I'm so glad that I've tried this foundation. Um, yeah, I think it just gives you amazing coverage. And I am so impressed. Powder went on top of it perfectly. My liquid concealer went on top of it perfectly. I, I literally don't have anything bad to say about it, apart from it's not the best underneath my eyes, which, to be honest, I wouldn't really use it under there anyway, because I quite like to use a brightening concealer, and obviously this is going to be the same colour as my skin, so, overall, I am very, very impressed, and I will leave the link down below if you'd like to purchase, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this testing video, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video I upload on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, so I'll hopefully see you there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.